This effect has become very popular. More and more YouTubers are using this in their videos. Whether it's subtitles or the star of the show, this is a very fun and clever way to draw in attention or to emphasize a point. And it's also incredibly easy to make. Now for this example, I'm going to be using Premiere Pro, but you can follow these steps in any video editing program that you're using. Before we can get started on our text, we need an audio file because we're going to be syncing this text effect with the audio. So let's pop that on the timeline and have a quick listen. This effect has become very popular. All right, it is time to create our first text layer. And in Premiere Pro, you can click on the T button right here in the toolbar, or you can simply press T on your keyboard. Click anywhere on the screen and start typing your first word. As you can see, the text layer has now been created and can be found on the timeline right here. Now press V or click on the cursor button in the toolbar again to get your cursor back. Let's double click on the text layer, which will open up the essential graphics panel. And this is where we will style our text. Just for the fun of it, in this case, I'm going to be using Mr. Beast fonts because why not? There's a link in the description if you want to use the same font, but obviously you can use whatever font and stylize it in any way that you like. We want to make sure that we have center aligned our text and then we can either scale it up or down depending on how big or small you want the text to be. Then for this example, I just want the text to be in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to be pressing on these two buttons right here. This button right here will center it vertically and this one will do the same, but horizontally. If you want to create subtitles, then you can click on this button right here that says align bottom, or you can position it manually by using these two values. The left value is the horizontal axis, so you can move it from the left or the right, and the right value is the vertical axis, so you can move it up or down. For a subtitle, I recommend clicking on the horizontal center button and then just adjust the left value. So now we just have one word, which is a five second static text, which isn't exciting at all. So let's change that, shall we? On our timeline, hover over the end of the text layer until you see this icon right here. This means that you can either make it longer or shorter. And in this case, we're going to be dragging it to the left side and make this shorter. We're not syncing it with our audio just yet, so it doesn't have to be very precise. We're going to click on our text layer to select it and then hit Alt or Option if you're on a Mac, hold it and then drag the text layer to the right let it go, and as you can see, you've now created a copy. And if this didn't work, then make sure that you're holding Alt or Option the entire time, let go of your mouse, and then let go of the Alt or Option key. Now we're going to put our playhead on the new text layer so we can see it on the screen, double click on the text, and now change the word. If you want to create a sentence, then simply add another word to this layer. Repeat this step until you have created all the text layers for the first sentence. Now we're going to have a listen to our audio and we're going to create a marker every time a new word starts. And in Premiere Pro, you can create a marker by pressing M on your keyboard. These markers will help us sync up the words with the audio because now it is very easy to align the cuts with those markers, which is what we're going to be doing next. You can either drag every clip in and out and align it that way, but there is actually a way easier and faster way, and that is using the rolling edit tool. What the f is a rolling edit tool? Well, let me show you. Press N on your keyboard to enable the rolling edit tool. You can also find it by going back to the toolbar and then click and hold on this icon and then select the rolling edit tool. With this tool enabled, you should see this icon right here. Now, we're going to grab the first cut right here and we're going to match it to the first marker. You can see that essentially we are changing the end position of the first text layer and the start position of the second text layer. This is great because we do not have to reposition any text layers or get rid of any gaps. When it comes to this text effect, I really like to spice up my text by using this pop-up effect. I've literally been using this in all of my videos and I've gotten such a great response that I've actually made it available for you. So if you want to use my signature pop-up text effect, there is a link in the description to get it. Go to my store, treat yourself to a 10% discount by using the code text 10. Now it is time to level up our video. So make sure that you watch this video right here or the video that YouTube thinks is best for you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.